Hello and welcome to Bailey's Shooting. This week we're taking a look at something a little bit different and a little bit out of my comfort zone. Um, this is the ATN Mars LT. This is one of their new lightweight thermal rifle scopes that they've brought uh, into the country through Highland Outdoors. Uh, this model is a three to six power, so three to six uh, magnification. Um, this is the LT320-25. So basically, this has got a 320 by 240 thermal sensor running at 60 hertz, um, three to six magnification. Screen resolution inside is 1280 by 720, so a nice little crisp screen in there as well. Um, these are weather resistant. They are USB type C chargeable, um, which is absolutely ideal because pretty much everything is, especially if you've got an Android phone nowadays. Uh, two color palettes inside, black hot, white hot. Um, multiple crosshairs available inside as well in settings. Um, 30 millimeter tube. So it works with any of your standard mounts. I always personally use reach back mounts uh, on my rifles. Uh, boasts a 10 hour battery life, which is absolutely phenomenal. Um, and it only weighs 1.4 pound. So you can't really grumble. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna pop this out of the box. All the specs, by the way, just when you do get a box, uh, one of your own, or if you're having a butchers in the shop, they're all on the end. So you can get an idea of what you're looking for. So I'll pop this out. First thing to spring out is the destruction manual. That's got everything in there, how to charge, how to basically use the device, what buttons do what, absolutely everything. How to use the menu system as well. As you can see, the menu system is slightly different in this, um, whereas like on the 4Ks and stuff like that, obviously you get the top bar and your drop down menus. With this, it's all down the side. So as you can see there, you've got nuke to reset the screen, pixel repair, and what's that one there? Uh, the reticle, sensor, and then your one shot zero. So it's all in the book, exactly what you've got to do, as well as your warranty information. Bear in mind the warranty in the UK is provided by Highland Outdoors, so that's always good. You also get your little rubber eye cup. Personally, I don't use these, but I know plenty of people do. That just screws on. And the scope itself, comes in a nice little neoprene bag to protect it so if you're running this on different rifles then it's easy enough to swap it around and keep it protected um, in the pack as well which is a nice touch the nice touch sorry is having a 90 degree USB type C so when this is plugged in charging um, you've not got the cable sticking out wildly at least it just drops straight down next to the rifle which is a winner so inside the neoprene sock let's have a look pull this out of here here is the scope itself so as you can see standard look really you've got your focus ring on the front here you've got your sensor at the very very front you've got the main body of the scope and you've got your ocular adjustment on the back to crisp up the image that you're looking at as in the screen itself and the menus etc this side of the body just an ATN logo underneath absolutely nothing and then on this side, you've got obviously what the scope is, and you've got your USB Type C charging port just there as well. So keeping it nice and simple. On the actual scope, the buttons are you've got a power button just there, press and hold for a couple of seconds, the unit turns on. Magnification stepped just there. This side, you've got your brightness, press that, and you've got four different brightness settings. Centre button is quick nuke, just to refresh the actual image you're looking at. That side you've got the contrast, so five settings again I believe. And at the bottom you've got the adjuster to go from black heat to white heat. So overall, absolutely gorgeous little scope to be fair. Um, feels very robust, very very solid. As I said before, 30mm tube front and back, which is ideal. We'll see how uh, this is turned off anyway, see how quick it turns on. Helps if I press the right button, doesn't it? See how quick it turns on. There's the click. Oh, and that's on straight away. Okie dokie. How oh, sweet is a nut. So inside, um, I can't obviously show you the recorded stuff through this because you can't record. Uh, you've got your cross there and you've got the two accelerometers and a battery level. That is it. They've kept it really, really simple. Let's just see whether or not So there you go, you can see inside you've got your accelerometers 
and your battery level. Not the best way of doing it, but it's a device we can't record through. So, focus ring seems resistant but smooth, which is ideal, you're not going to knock it when you're in the middle of doing something. Overall scope feels absolutely really, really nice. Um, but yeah, for a lightweight unit, which I believe this is this is going to be aimed at people doing rat shooting, rabbit shooting, um, close range stuff, pure and simple. Um, and I think it's going to be absolutely bang on for that. But what we're going to do, uh, I'm quite impressed with the little unit. Uh, as I said, I already use 4Ks on uh, my Rimfire and my uh, 223. So I think I'm going to stick this on a little Lithgow 22LR and um, we'll go get some um, some rack shot and see how it copes out in the field. But yeah, for a first look at the unit, these are available through all Highland Outdoors uh, retailers in the UK. So if you've got a gun shop that deals with Highland Outdoors, they can get these in for you. Um, and uh, yeah, pure and simple, they'll, they'll get you squared away. Uh, we also sell for Highland Outdoors as well, so these will be available through Bailey's. Um, but yeah, this on a rimfire or air rifle, absolutely banging. Um, especially at its price point as well. So yeah, definitely worth a look in. If you haven't already, give us a thumbs up uh, and subscribe to the channel. The next video that we'll put together, um, I'll basically give final thoughts after this has been on a rifle for a bit and actually been put through its paces. So yeah, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers guys.